we were given a table of function values, and for the first part, we're asked to determine h prime of four if h of x equals f of x times g of x. Because h of x is a product of two functions of x, we will need to apply the product rule of differentiation to determine h prime of x. h prime of x is equal to the first function of f of x times the derivative of the second function, which is g prime of x, plus the second function of g of x times the derivative of the first function, which is f prime of x. And therefore, h prime of four is equal to f of four times g prime of four plus g of four times f prime of four. And now we can determine all four function values from the table above. And notice how because the x value is four, we're only concerned about this column here where x equals four. First we have f of four from the second row here. We can see f of four is equal to positive two, which gives us positive two times g prime of four from the last row is also a positive two. And then we have plus g of four is equal to positive one. And then we have times f prime of four, which is equal to three. Simplifying, we can see we have four plus three, which is equal to seven. H prime of four is equal to positive seven. Next, we're asked to determine H prime of four, but now H of x equals F of x divided by G of x. And therefore, we'll have to apply the quotient rule of differentiation to determine H prime of x. So applying the quotient rule, starting with the denominator, the denominator of the derivative is equal to the square of the denominator of the original function, which is the square of g of x. And the numerator is the denominator of g of x times the derivative of the numerator, which is f prime of x. And then we have minus the numerator of f of x times the derivative of the denominator, which is g prime of x. And therefore, h prime of four is equal to, substituting four for x in the denominator, we have the square of g of four. In the numerator, we have g of four times f prime of four minus f of four times g prime of four. And now we go back and determine all the function values. Starting with the denominator, g of four is equal to one, and therefore the denominator is one squared. In the numerator we have g of four, which again is one, times f prime of four, which is three, minus f of four, which is two, times g prime of four, which is two. Simplifying, in the numerator we have three minus four, which is negative one. The denominator is one, and therefore h prime of four is equal to negative one when h of x equals f of x divided by g of x. For the last part, again, we want to determine h prime of four, but now h of x is equal to f of g of x, meaning h of x is a composite function. And therefore we'll have to apply the chain rule to determine h prime of x. When applying the chain rule, we take the derivative of the outer function evaluated at the inner function times the derivative of the inner function, which gives us h prime of x equals f prime of g of x times g prime of x. Again, we have the derivative of the outer function evaluated at the inner function times the derivative of the inner function. And therefore, h prime of four is now equal to f prime of g of four times g prime of four. And again, going back to our table, g of four is equal to one, giving us f prime of one times g prime of four is equal to two. We finally have a function value where we have to go to a different column. To find f prime of one, we need to go to the column where x equals one, which is this column here. Notice f prime of one is equal to positive two, which gives us two times two, which is equal to four. 
I hope you found this helpful.